This month, the Supreme Court is expected to overturn Roe v. Wade. And if that does happen, abortion will be illegal in Michigan for the first time in nearly 50 years. But it's still unclear if policymakers are going to make abortion pills illegal as well. This is one of the two abortion pills everyone is talking about, Mufepristone. It is the first abortion pill in a set of two that a woman can take to end a pregnancy. In 2022, out of nearly 30,000 abortions performed in the state, more than half involved these pills rather than a surgical procedure. Experts are divided on if the pills will be outlawed along with the surgical abortions if Roe v. Wade is overturned. One expert with the Great Lakes Justice Center believes it is the woman who chooses to take the pill and women cannot be prosecuted for having an abortion under Michigan law. There's also the issue of prosecuting the prescriber. These days, the FDA has allowed the pills to be prescribed via telehealth and mail delivery, potentially from states where abortion is still legal. Right now, those pills are protected by a lawsuit from Planned Parenthood of Michigan that asks Michigan courts to confirm that abortion is a protected right in the state constitution. We'll know more once the U.S. Supreme Court makes their final ruling. And we have an update on a story that we first told you about last week in the Holt Public School District. The 15-year-old who was in the hospital after a fight between another student is now safely home. According to the GoFundMe created by the friend of the victim's family, the 15-year-old suffered head trauma and spent the night in the ICU after the altercation happened in the school hallway. An update posted on May 31st says the 15-year-old is now home but is facing a long recovery with many unknowns to navigate. The incident is still being investigated by the Ingham County Sheriff's Department. Plus, a few months ago, Lansing announced it will be getting a million dollars from the federal government for Michigan Avenue corridor improvements. We're now learning that an additional 300,000 will be going towards that project to revamp building facades. Mayor Andy Shore believes there's still room for the area to be revamped and keeping buildings looking fresh. The city allocated $100,000 out of their American Rescue Plan money and was given 50,000 by the Michigan Avenue Corridor Improvements Authority Board. The Capital Region Community Foundation decided to match that. Businesses can now start to apply for the funding by telling the city how much they're willing to invest in revamping their facade and then the city will match that amount.